Right now, while we have an abundance of rain, Licking County is offering a way for homeowners and gardeners to store water for those hot, dry summer days that will inevitably come. Well, first of all, you got to put a uh, connector downspout. That's why the Licking County Soil and Water Conservation District is conducting three rain barrel workshops and encouraging you to create a backyard rain garden. We found a source of uh, recycled food grade barrels and we learned how to make them. The program began three years ago as a way for residents to conserve water, which also helps protect stream quality and aquatic habitat from pollutants. Then it goes down to an overflow gets farther from the house. Now this barrel we got water in right now, so you can hook a hose up or if we had it elevated more, you could uh, put a bucket under it to water hanging baskets. But what about attracting unwanted pests? We have a screen in the inlet, we have a screen in the outlet, we do not want to create a hazard with mosquitoes. Licking County installed five rain gardens and found that even small plots of land held up to a half million gallons of water in an average year, while also filtering harmful rooftop pollutants. They grow really long roots, which does a couple of things. It helps absorb that rainwater and it helps provide a path when those roots die for the rainwater to go down into the ground. A native sunflower, this is a switchgrass panicum, which grows nicely in clumps. This is a cup plant, which is really cool because when it rains, you see it forms a cup. The rain barrels cost $50 and come with plenty of helpful advice for a rainy day. In Newark, meteorologist Ben Galber, NBC4. Bee balm is a very nice plant. The, the um, bees love it. It's very good for the, for the uh, different bees. For